Hey guys, welcome to your uh, general reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your April 2024 you know, Pisces set and your replacements. Uh, we are going to take a look and see uh, what your shadow work is, what your shadow side is for April, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Um, Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, I am going to do another giveaway where I am um, giving away two free 30-minute personal readings with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the details on how to enter the giveaway in the communities have on my YouTube page. I will post the winners on uh, my community uh, 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 post the winners, announce the winners on April 12th on the community tab, okay, in my uh, YouTube uh, page. Um, so Pisces, talk about Pisces. Pisces. What is Pisces' shadow work, shadow side for April 2024? What is Pisces' shadow work, shadow side for April 2024 for Pisces? For Pisces. With the King of Cups and the Two of Wands. Um, you know, I feel like maybe your shadow work, your shadow side has something to do with, like, you know, decisions, making decisions here. Um, perhaps, you know, it could be a situation that you're very indecisive here. Um, yeah, we have another two here. So I feel like the way, the best way to make a firm decision here is check in with yourself. Ask yourself how you feel about it, what you're comfortable with, you know, what your body is telling you. Because when it comes to decisions, you know, our body has that innate ability to let us know whether something is right for you. So trust that. Trust your body. Trust your intuition here. Okay? You know, I do feel like someone here could be a bit nonchalant when they're when it comes to making decisions. Kind of like weighing the pros and the cons. Whether something is right or wrong for them. You know, we have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Fool. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Fool, Aries, Energy, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, I just feel like some, when it comes to decision making, now, Pisces, maybe this is something, maybe this is someone that you know that's going through this, it doesn't have to be you, but I just feel like when it comes to decision making here, someone here is not serious. Yeah, this is all about making decisions here. Making firm decisions here and sticking with it and making, uh, basically weighing in the pros and the cons, whether this, the, whether, whether this, the decisions that you're making here is good for you. Because I feel like um, someone here has made like poor decisions here in the past or even recently. And you feel like some of here suffered the consequences because of that, you know? And I feel like some of here got burned for that here, Pisces. So the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the uh, Page of Cups, and the Ch King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. With the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. This could be a... I feel like the decisions that someone has made here has always affected their romantic relationships here. So I feel like someone here has a really, really, really... Someone here has to build those basic fundamentals of kind of like taking responsibility for the decisions that you make. Because I feel like when someone here makes a mistake on a decision here, I feel like someone here runs away. Yeah, the Knight of Swords here and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. The Fool. And it's three of wands. Yeah, someone here runs away. And I feel like this needs to change because I feel like someone here, because, because of the decisions that they've made here, I do feel like someone here has not been able to be successful in life or that, you know, when someone here reaches success, reaches success, they're not able to hold on to it. What else do we have for, for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on for April 2024? When it comes to your shadow work, your shadow side with a page of swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. With the high priestess, Cancer, Pisces. 
We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Devil. Mm. It's really important for you to trust your intuition here. I do feel like it's almost somebody here is turning to the dark side here in a way. Like, I wouldn't say that somebody here is like evil or anything like that, but more so like someone here just tends to run away and turn towards things that are not healthy for them. Because so, I feel like someone here has a hard time processing the, the decisions that they make and how it affects themselves and others here. And there's always opportunity for room for growth, to learn, to change. And I feel like some here is not really taking it. It's almost like doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results here. The devil, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the page of swords here. The hierophant. I, I feel like some here needs to center, so, center themselves. Some here needs to align themselves here. Because I feel like someone's energy is just all over the place. There also could be a lack of focus. I don't know why. But I feel like someone here deals with like attention problems. Yeah, someone here deals with attention problems. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. The Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. I do feel like strong influences can affect someone's decision making here too. It's so important to trust yourself and rely on yourself when you're making decisions here. It's good to ask for people's opinions and their input here, but ultimately you're not making any decisions for them. You're making it for yourself. You know, the decisions, the, the, the decisions affect you, you know, and sometimes other people around you. The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. The devil and the seven of cups, yeah. I really feel like, Pisces, I feel like you're being asked to trust your intuition at this time. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're really being you're being asked to trust your intuition at this time and you know and really ground yourself and root yourself and really check in with yourself and weighing the pros and cons on certain decisions that you're making here. Uh, because I actually see patterns that continue to repeat over and over and over again. Uh, because of this, I feel like someone here has consistent, consistently gotten burned over and over and over and over again by people here, Pisces. Okay? So, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.